Hello and God bless you. This is Bill Campbell, BTS uh, grad from 2010. Uh, we're here on the southeast side of Paris, and um, as you may have heard in the news, um, things are very difficult here. Things are very hard. Um, people have been shocked. Uh, people are hurting here, and um, it's been it's been tragic to see what um, Satan has been doing here uh, in the Paris area. Uh, me and my family are here on the southeast side and we've been here for about five years um, and we've grown to really love these people here and uh, it's been a joy and a privilege it's been very difficult but it's been a joy and a privilege to, to serve the Lord here um, we want to ask you to be praying for Paris God is doing tremendous things here uh, evangelicals are the fastest growing religious group in, in all of France um, there's a new church being planted, started in France every 10 days. Um, it's an amazing time. Uh, we're still only 1% of the population, um, but God is doing a great work. And I think that's part of why we're seeing so much spiritual warfare going on here. Um, Jesus said that um, the thief has come to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. And that's what we're starting to see. We're starting to see the people of Paris and France uh, slowly but surely grab a hold of this life that's found in Jesus Christ. Uh, the situation here is, is very, um, very fluid. Um, even this morning, there was um, police raids of uh, terrorist apartments up in the north side of Paris, areas that we've done evangelism in and have trained workers to do evangelism in. Um, so the situation is still very fluid. We're going to have another attack in the next couple of days. Uh, so please keep praying for Paris. Um, the politicians are rallying and trying to be there more and more for their local towns. There was a huge meeting about 3,000 mayors uh, from France, in France today, where, where the president spoke, the president of France spoke um, socially. It's very confusing. There are, there are people who are outraged, people who are hurt, people who, who blame Muslims. There's Muslims who want to say, hey, we have nothing to do with this. It's, it's, it's terrible, it's shocking, it's hurtful for us. This is not what Islam is. So it's a very fluid situation. Uh, there's a lot of emotions, um, and, and it's a very, very difficult time. But I think the biggest thing that we're seeing is that um, I believe that God is using this to, to touch some hearts and soften some hearts. I have a, a neighbor, a friend of mine, he's from Iran, and uh, he's Muslim background, obviously, and I've been reaching out to him for a long time, and I sent him a text the other day and with a Bible verse in it, and he responded back, uh, you know, may Jesus come, may, uh, Jesus live. Um, and so he seems to be more and more open to Christ. I have a colleague down in Grenoble who uh, has been witnessing and sharing Christ with a Muslim man for, for, uh, for a long time. And after the attacks Friday night, um, where 129 people were killed, uh, this Muslim man gave his heart to Jesus Christ and, and accepted the Lord. So I think God is using this to, to show, even to some Muslims, um, the, the difference, the contrast between the light that's found in Jesus Christ and the darkness that's there in Islam. So please keep praying for Paris. It's a fluid situation. We need your prayers. God is working here. God is doing some incredible things um, in the lives of individuals and also um, in a larger scope in, in society. Um, but the, um, the battle uh, is great this year. So, so please keep us in prayer. Pray for Paris. We're working here. The, the, the church is growing. The kingdom is coming here. Um, the kingdom is expanding here. But it's not without a fight. And it's tremendous spiritual warfare. So please keep praying for Paris. This is Bill Campbell here with my family on the southeast side of Paris. Thank you so much.